What up, Hope Biscuits? It's your girl Skitten back at it again here with my husband. What'd you get for Christmas? Tell me now. What I get you for Christmas? Yeah. I think I left the me part out because I was really excited to say it. What day is it? Oh, it's the 21st. Yeah. You had me kind of scared there for a second. I was like, is it that close? We shoot our videos at midnight, so sometimes it's tomorrow today. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I was like, is it New Year's Eve today or tomorrow? I mean, Christmas Eve. Yeah, holy hell. Yeah, I, they, they might be running together for me at this point. Uh, What'd you give me? Tell me. Oh, was... let's do it in a riddle. Oh, my I no, am not I green, oh, but I am black. I might be hard, and I am whack. Your penis. Oh, wait. I didn't know you were going to say the whack part. No. I didn't know you. Okay. I, Fuck. I didn't know you, you were. Son of a bitch. I didn't know you were going to say the whack part. You said black, and then you said hard. What are we here for today, Skitten? <laughs> yeah. First and foremost, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are staying safe and sanitized. <laughs> We're here for Casual Geographic wholesome videos. <laughs> it's supposed to be wholesome. It's called How Do Wild Animals Have Fun? So I'm anticipating oh a lot of super cute videos i'm excited to see what this video has in store for us so without further ado let's go ahead and get started you really you really don't want to tell me what you play know. the video i'm not <laughs> speaking to you for the rest of the video i'm referring to the camera and the camera only get off just play the video we'll 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 get through it we'll get through it We'll, we'll persevere, but not today. Hey, I pull up. How about at the after party? You and all your friends say they love to get naughty. Hi. Good morning. Ma'am? Hello. Good morning. They say they love to get naughty. Hi. Good morning. Ma'am? Is he eating it? Sir. Is there a menu? No, no, no. I'm sorry, Mr. Hey! <laughs> Everybody has a different playing style. <laughs> Fun. F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. N is for anywhere at any time at all. And I appreciate how- I am really mad he did that without the melody. Like, I am really upset that he did not do that with the melody. What's the melody? F is for friends who do things together. U is for you and me. N is for Nick. <laughs> the song spells out fire, not fun, and we all just collectively accepted that. But fun isn't just a human construct that man, or a talking sponge, invented. Nah, plenty of animals have ways of having a good time. Take wolves, for example. Wolves are social animals, so it makes sense that they'd use play to strengthen bonds in the pack. Wolves right. in the wild will do things like play tug-of-war, or try to get others to chase them. And it's not just the pups doing it, the adults get in on it too. They even have a specific way of inviting others to play. A play bow is like the wolf version of a friend request, and it's a signal that they want others to get in on the games. And if you don't believe me, play bow in front of your dog and watch how fast you get his undivided attention. Because dogs are all about play. It's why stronger dogs will actively hold back and restrain themselves oh, just to keep their puppies. playmate engaged in the games going. It's called self-handicapping, and you'll often see it with male puppies letting physically weaker female puppies win. They know what they're doing. They know, and if you've ever had a girlfriend, you do too. I beat my wife up in Call of Duty all the time. <laughs> Ruthless savageness. I was thinking about when we play fight. Oh, okay. And by me. play fight, I mostly mean when we pretend to do jujitsu and my husband just no, no. Let's talk. That's very cute and wholesome. We pretend to do jujitsu and my wife does moves. Okay. When my wife learned how to box, she would stand on the other side of walls. When we would go upstairs, like to get dressed, and we had to go places, specifically when we're busy, just start punching me in the chest when I come around the corner. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? She would, pow! You get, stop! That's a full on right cross. Put your hands up. In my sternum. Put your hands up. Fucking punch shit too much. Be mindful of your surroundings. <laughs> it's like a kung fu teacher. But wolves rarely self handicap because they rarely nerf themselves on purpose. But right. I'll tell you one thing dogs did get from wolves fetch. That's right, we didn't come up with that. 
In an experiment really? in Stockholm University in Sweden, researchers hand raised a litter yeah. of puppies, making sure to get them comfortable with their presence, but not playing with them. And at eight weeks old, they brought in a person the wolf pups had never seen before to administer a series of tests. One of those tests involved tossing a tennis ball, and to the shock of the scientists, some of the wolf pups actually retrieved the ball and returned it to them. Remember, we're talking about wolves here. Wolves that hadn't been trained or motivated to do that, they basically just freestyled the game of fetch. Right. Not all the wolf pups did this, but understanding human cues was thought to be a domestic dog thing, so realistically none of them should have. We didn't teach dogs fetch, it was already programmed into their software. But if we didn't teach them, who did? Well. Maybe Birds. ravens, because we've already talked about the wolf-raven relationship arc. Yep. But ravens have been seen seemingly playing with specific puppies in the pack. They'll play tug-of-war with sticks, the ravens will do things like tease them to get the wolf pups to chase after them, and sometimes the ravens will even fly over them with sticks to get them to jump. These childhood games are probably how ravens and wolves can form legitimate emotional bonds. And it actually makes a lot of sense that this kind of thing would happen, since wolves are social pack animals and ravens are one of the most playful things with wings while also having the intelligence of a small child. Because you're right. gonna see, the smarter an animal is, the more playful they usually are. And that's because yeah, play typically comes down to two things, manipulating the objects around you and interacting with others. Two right. things that do require intelligence. Like take bees, probably the most intelligent new social insect out there. Well, in an experiment in the Queen Mary University in London, scientists built a setup where bees had a choice. Take a path leading directly to food, or explore a path with an obstacle course of tiny wooden balls. And to add to that, one side had wooden balls that were fixed in place, while the others were loose and could be rolled around. Not okay. only did every bee choose the ball what? path, every single one tried rolling a ball at least once. That's Some so of the bees cute. even went right back after eventually stopping for food. And to make it even more interesting, it was actually the juvenile bees that spent the most time ball rolling. So yeah, that's actually how we found out bees can play. That's but the question adorable. is, what other insects can? Dude, I was gonna yell about seeing the video and demand that we stop it until I found it. Yeah. And he saved us a lot of time. <laughs> but I, my, my curiosity is satisfied. I've never heard of this ever. I have in my never life. heard of it, and it's so cute. And yeah. I don't even like bees. What what a demon. I don't like dislike bees. Oh, okay. I, I just, you know, oh, okay. they're they are still insects. Okay. Sorry, when I hear insects, it's very hot or cold with people. It's either I love them or eradicate them. Be I, well, I see, jump okay, the gun there. so like I'm afraid of bees, right? Mm -hmm. But also, I understand that they're very necessary for the environment right, right. and et cetera, et cetera. Right, but would you leave me for a bee with the voice of a man? <laughs> I mean, what's the offering? <laughs> Look, that's it, really. The voice of a man and is a bee. Well, we can probably rule out ants, and here's why. It's not because they're not smart enough to goof off and play games. It's because they probably get murked by the queen before they have enough time to figure it out. Because an ant colony runs like an efficient engine, and any part not doing their part gets turned into past tense. And queen ants are crazy cutthroat, like to the point where they'll actively sabotage their own colony just to keep themselves higher in power. The trade-off is, the ant colony is a militia that's capable of cutting down animals hundreds of times their size. And in a game like the Ants Underground Kingdom, you get to personally watch an ant colony overwhelm threats like mantises, right. eviscerate spiders and even okay. flex on lizards all right that was good his integration of his ads yeah. is flawless it's getting better it's and it's getting better yeah. it's ridiculous like we've watched internet historian it's like we get excited for the build-up to the ad. exactly and you know? and he's very ad time yeah, you know like it's a very, very specific cool. thing yeah. and an internet historian he like roofies you with it you know there's a song where she, the girl goes, I slipped him a perk and I'm not sorry or something like that. <laughs> it's more like that. Like, it's kind of catchy, you know. You'd have to think about it. A perk? Why would you do that? Oh, to rob him. I got it. I understand. It's a robbery song. I'm really <laughs> cheery about this. <laughs> Why? We just turned this very wholesome thing into something very not wholesome. Hey, this is the channel, man. I'm sorry. And this is just a game mechanic. There are actual ants out there that'll go out of their way to meal prep spiders. And lizards in South America had to literally evolve to avoid getting packed up by a swarm of fire ants. That's True like story. That. And in the ants underground kingdom, you get to add to your insect infantry by hatching and raising them, including a class of special ants with special abilities. But it's not all war all the time, and you also get to explore and design ant nests for your ant colony to live in. And you know, it's graphics like that that won this game the best game changer of 2021 by Google Play. Also, Boom. the ants underground kingdom will be releasing a new version December 16th, along with epic new heroes I can't tell you more about because I don't even... New version December 16th. You can bounce a quarter off that ass. Yeah. Thorax, I guess. Right, yeah, I was getting ready to, yeah. Teeth. Along with you don't have to correct me. I oh. also work pest control. I was about to say this. I know they things. Don't have, they don't have booties, yeah. Backpacks. Look, continue. <laughs> with epic new heroes, I can't tell you more about because 
I don't even know who they are yet, but I can tell you about the special redeem code they have for you all. If you use the redeem code the ants Xmas, you'll get 50 eggs which you can use to get purple special ants and other cool ant swag. So to play the world's first ant strategy mobile game, make sure to download the ants underground kingdom using the link in the description. But just because you can play one game about ants, doesn't mean ants are the ones to play games. But corvids like crows and ravens definitely are, and it goes way beyond weaponizing wolves. Cause as cute as this may be, and it really is, you could argue that keeping wolves close is in their best interest. Right. But then there's this, a raven using a plastic lid as a sled uh, to slide down snowy hills. And then you have so this raven cute. sliding down the roof of a public library. Or at least trying to. And they have nothing to gain from doing this. <laughs> This is unrewarded play, and basically it means, yeah, they're not doing it for survival or anything, nah, they're just doing it to have a good time. Yeah, I wasn't kidding, for a bird whose group name is an unkindness, ravens and early corvids in general are probably the most playful birds on the planet. It's why you'll see them actively mess with other animals just for the memes, even if it means instigating a literal catfight for their own entertainment. Oh so next God. time you're wondering how animals have fun, I want you to remember this snowboarding crow. Or you can think of this self-tobogganing otter. River otters in Yellowstone have been seen getting a running start and snow surfing down icy slopes. Now, now, first, scientists just figured it was their way of getting around. Right. That theory fell apart when they watched the river otters run back up the slope <laughs> like kids at a water park only to slide back down. And that goes back to unrewarded play because the otters don't gain anything but a good time. And FOMO for otters is a real thing because you're more likely to see them sliding as a group than just solo. And like ravens, you can almost see how intelligence and playfulness so, almost goes hand in hand. So Especially since otters are considered to be the most intelligent of all mustelids. Being part of the special class of animals. I'm sorry, the most intelligent of all what? Musk <laughs> I've let never me, heard the term let, muscolid before. Let me hear that again. Yeah, I thought he said it. mustelids. Is it muscolids? Is it colored or tullid? Are they musty or musky? Especially since otters are considered to be the most intelligent of all mustelids. Being mustelids. Musty. They're musty. Mustelids. They got must. Part of the special class of animals that are able to use tools to the point where river otters will seem to juggle rocks when they get excited No, like seriously, we, we had no idea why they were doing this until researchers at a zoo noticed They started juggling rocks more when it got closer to their feeding time We still don't know exactly what it is about food that makes otters start juggling rocks But sometimes you need to just take a moment to stop asking why just to enjoy what's in right, front of you Right, because that's like, horrible yeah, There's a ton of people who dance before they eat What do you mean? I dance when I'm, my husband always knows when I like the food because I start like yeah, around. jigging, dancing. <laughs> Why do crocodiles like the color pink? Because according to anecdotal observations, crocodilians seem to have a pink preference, favoring tossing around small objects that look like the <laughs> result of a red-white affair. It's why the prehistoric predator that's been terrorizing the planet for hundreds of millions of years can be seen picking pink flowers with its jaws. Wow. Crocs apparently have Cute. other ways of having fun. They'll take turns going down natural water slides and swim right back up and do we it have again. Seen that. They'll give each yeah. other piggyback rides, just cuz. And there's even a story where animal behavior expert Vladimir Diné claimed to witness an alligator seemingly play with a group of river otters in Big Cypress in Florida because I don't believe you. Florida. You know, I'm not even kidding. He has a whole paper on play behavior in crocodilians, and he talks about watching river otters regularly visit one specific gator and mess with him by getting close to him, nipping at his tail, and even splashing water on his head. Most yeah. gators would respond to this by just submerging, but this one gator played along by lunging at the otters. I know what you're probably thinking, and to that, I give you this. At one point, one of the otters slid <laughs> down the bank and was immediately grabbed by the gator. But instead of making an example out of it, the prehistoric merc machine just released it perfectly unharmed. It was like a game that both of them were in on. And unlike okay. wolves and ravens, gators and otters have legitimate beef in some parts. They do, but Like yes. I said, sometimes you need to forget about the why and just enjoy the what. And what yeah. happened was, these games went on for a couple days until the marsh eventually dried up and the alligators and otters both moved on. That's not the only example of crocodilians at play, that just happens to be wow. the best one I got. Another time was when a gator found a football in his swamp and instead of easily popping it, it seemed to toy with it by grabbing it with his jaws and tossing it around. You know That's I could 100% use this to make a Florida Gators joke, but at this point I think it would be low hanging fruit. But crocodiles and alligators being playful goes right in line with the intelligence point I made earlier. Despite having a brain in the weight class of a walnut, crocodilians are much more intelligent than they get credit for. Unlike Look dolphins who get- So that terrifying video we saw of it sprinting at a person. Yeah. Was it being called? That's cute. All of the credit for it. Now you probably know dolphins like to have fun. The problem is most of their pastimes would probably get this video age restricted with the quickness. Hey, like for example, when two Amazon River dolphins were seen wow. playing with a Benny Anaconda. I put playing in quotes because both dolphins were visibly aroused and the snake ended up flatlining likely to drowning. And, and you know, knowing what I know about dolphins, that's probably what got them excited. Cause most dolphin fun comes at someone's expense. Yeah. I can repeat yeah. that same sentence without the fun and it'd still be accurate. I give you exhibit A. Baby sharks is volleyball. <laughs> Dude, these guys are twisted. 
<laughs> it's twisted, dude. Every time I learn more about dolphins, every time I learn more about dolphins, I'm just like, y'all are menacing. They can talk to each other. Oh my God. And you go eat that? No, we, I got a great idea. Go like oh. six feet that way. Bink. Do the spiky move. That is the spiky move. It's a butt. Oh, I don't fucking know how to play volleyball. Spike. Oh, okay. Why do you know this? Who doesn't know that? Volleyball girls. Tight pants. Why do you I'm think I ran playing the video. They'll take turns chasing each other in games that can last hours. How many volleyball girls do you know exactly? A couple. How many? Show me their numbers in your phone right now. It probably just have in my phone too. So I don't <laughs> transfer numbers over. <laughs> probably re-download at some point. I'm married though. So if you guys want to donate my wife some volleyball shorts, I'm all for it. Find random objects to carry around and even play catch with. Oh, and a little fun fact for you. One of a dolphin's favorite things to play with includes sargassum seaweed. Researchers actually watched dolphins in the Bahamas play a kind of keep away game with the seaweed. But the best part was the dolphins were used to being around humans and eventually they invited the researchers to play with them. And no That's amount dope. of scientific integrity would stop any of us from saying no. Right. Dolphins have also been seen surfing the bow waves produced by ships sometimes for miles on end. It's not like they just do it to save energy. A group of spinner dolphins actually memorized the path scientists on a boat would take. That's so cool. every morning the spinner dolphins would show up and ride the bow wave as the scientists traveled to their site. The dolphins That's would so leave for cute. a bit but then return and do the exact same thing when the scientists started heading back. So yeah, it's really no surprise that the smartest thing in the ocean can be as playful as a child because Me. honestly, they're probably as smart as one. So smart that many believe that dolphins will purposely seek out puffer fish just to get them elevated. Yeah. Yep. Apparently the tetrodotoxin that can discharge you from the population in minutes has something of a narcotic <laughs> effect in small doses. To the I point where this. people will swear by seeing dolphins take turns passing the puffer until they're all stuck on its product. And if puff, dolphins puff were pass. humans, they'd definitely be the ones huffing markers in class. By the <laughs> way, you uh, really shouldn't do that. But dolphins are far from the only ones that get elevated and hella faded. It's believed that cats will eat cats. grass and leaves yeah. because they contain folic acid which helps move oxygen around the blood. Plus when they throw it up it helps clean out their system. So it shouldn't be a surprise to see the biggest cat in America chewing on leaves. What's surprising is that it seems to put the jaguar in a trance and even induces kitten-like behavior. <laughs> to the point where people believe that this apex predator will go out of its way to chew on leaves from the Yaji. And in doing so, they book a flight on the same plane as Joe Rogan. <laughs> Scientists can't say for sure just why jaguars will go to these lengths to get zooted. Many natives will tell you that jaguars do it to buff their perception and senses, which heightens their hunting abilities. Okay. We don't know if the plants even affect them like that, but let's be real. We all know that look. <laughs> that boy is gone. <laughs> I guess if I spent my days like putting my face inside of other things' stomachs to eat them from the inside out, I might also do some other weird things. Like this makes me an apex predator. Did you? Did it's you, just high. Did you have to bring that up? Was that necessary? Well, I'm just thinking like, how many times do you think they get a good kill and they go, "I'm gonna get fucking high now"? Like that's so fucking brutal. You know what I mean? Yeah. If your child ever came home looking like this, you'd definitely give them a talking to. So it's in my non-professional opinion that jaguars will purposely get off one when they're not busy hunting for a living. Cause when nothing in a jungle can press you, you can afford to. Not the case for pandas though, they gotta take licks from everybody. That doesn't <laughs> stop them from being a walking viral clip every time they're on camera. So but there's actually a reason why you can make an entire playlist on pandas being cute. Mother pandas usually only raise one baby at a time. If she pops out twins then it's all good for Mary Kay, but it might be up for Ashley. Ooh. For most of a young panda's life, its only playmate is its mother. So when keepers hand raise baby pandas and the baby pandas imprint on them, this is what happens because this is what they do with their actual mothers. So Another cute. thing pandas like to go viral for is they're very much one-sided beef with gravity in the form of falling <laughs> trees. But like I said, a so lot of animals can pack up pandas, especially when they're young, so their only option is to climb, which very much makes trees their safe haven. They climb to avoid predators. They climb to avoid other pandas. They'll even sometimes go through the process of making another panda in the trees. Trees are so important that young pandas instinctively love climbing. <laughs> so much that many believe that the reason pandas like to hug their caretakers' legs is because they see human legs as trees and honestly That's can't hilarious. help themselves. And while this might be fun for them, this is actually a form of rewarded play since climbing ends up being a massive part of their life. But so does rolling around and there might be a reason for that too. <laughs> First of all, panda bones are weirdly thick and heavy for their size, so the falls and tumbles they take don't hurt them nearly as much as you'd expect <gasps> them to. Also, pandas are nearsighted, so it's possible they legitimately can't yeah, see what's in front I think, of their faces. I think, yeah. It's like you. Yeah, it's like they can't fucking see. <laughs> They're like, is that a hill or a step? Let's just fucking jump. Let's just figure it <laughs> we'll out. figure it out as we go yeah. along. 
boy rolling around, like to the point where mothers will often join their cubs doing it. They're not the only bears that can be playful. Polar bears can actually be just as goofy. It's just really? that pandas are a lot less likely to John Wick a human for food. Polar bears can <laughs> form friendships where they eat, travel, and play together. And these relationships can last years. Their favorite way to bond is by wrestling. And like with dogs, a stronger polar bear will often self-handicap and let the smaller bear win. And also like with dogs, polar bears have their own way of asking for permission to play too. In their case, a polar bear will move its head from side to side to initiate a friendly sparring session. These pair bonds usually last a summer until they eventually go their separate ways for the harsh winter season. Oh, but time sad. and time again, scientists have seen the same polar bear friends reuniting after okay, breeding good. season and yeah, carrying on like dope. nothing ever happened. And honestly, I feel like most adult friendships go just like that. Basically. As in, you can go months without speaking or hearing from each other, but you can also link up and go on like they never left. Yeah. But of course, polar bears know how to have fun by themselves too. Polar bears have been seen sliding down hills or across ice for hours for no reason other than having fun. So basically, even the biggest land predators on the planet know how to have a good time. But what about the biggest land animal, period? Well, it turns out, having fun is actually an important part of an elephant's life, and males and females are different in how they do it. Young males love rough housing and play fighting, which actually helps prepare them for a future of running fades for female validation. This natural playful aggression is why you'll often see young male calves chasing around other animals. Hold on, wait for it. And there it is. That's what it looks like for a baby elephant to throw a tantrum. Fun for young females usually involves thrashing around vegetation, sticks, bones, and anything else they can wrap their trunks around. But the ultimate sign of elephant fun is something they do called the floppy run. And it's exactly what it sounds like. When elephants really get excited, they'll shake their heads from side to side, they'll let their trunks hang loose and their ears flap in the wind, and they'll just run. That's all so while trumpeting. Cute. It's usually calves and young teenagers that get floppy with it, but sometimes the whole herd gets involved. But considering half an elephant's time is spent in the water, then it makes sense that half their fun happens in there too. Right. And if you've ever seen elephants playing in the water, it's actually wild how much they look like kids in a pool. There's <laughs> something really satisfying about watching a 12,000 pound vibe check splashing around in water like a child. And often they'll spray water at each other or sometimes even other animals just for the sport ha! of it. And in this case, other animals can very much include humans. But all this lighthearted fun might actually be crucial to their survival. Oh. You see, some studies say that the most playful elephant calves grow up to be the ones best at coping with environmental stress, which increases their chances of survival. Again, we don't know if this is a- I have never seen a baby elephant look so wobbly. I know, that in my life, so, yeah. That was he, he so was cute. He was, he was like, bitch, I don't, bitch, what, bitch. Mom, slap, like, stop playing. <laughs> Go fast. Like, this goofy little boy. That was so cute. Yeah. 100% oh, true, but like I said, sometimes you need to just forget about why and just enjoy watching a baby elephant take a shower. Dude, imagine going to the pool like in your summer, like you remember what that was like as a kid, mm -hmm. but then you just never get tired of it. You do it your whole life. Yeah. Every freaking day, you just go to the pool and have a great time, you know? That's going to do it for this video. I want to thank you all so much for the support this year. It really does mean a lot. We want to thank you for your face yeah, and existing with your face. <laughs> Thanks. Your turn, babe. Um, I really had a great time. This, this video was full of so many cute videos. Right. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Before this video started, I was complaining to Chavez about how fucking like tired I was. I was like, I'm fucking sleepy as shit. Like, I want to go to bed. Yeah. Chavez was like, No, let's shoot this video for Wednesday. You gotta do a good Wednesday vid. You know, hump day, hump day, hump day. Uh, <laughs> And I was like, fine, whatever. And then like we shot this video and I'm very awake now. Like I'm yeah. up, I'm ready to go. Let's go play some Call of Duty. Let's go play some Vampire Survivors. I'm ready. Oh, the DLC came of Vampire Survivor 2. It's so freaking good. Uh, any other videos that you have found of animal facts? I have so I have found a couple videos. Um, a couple people have requested us to do some Zafrank reactions. Oh damn. Um, so I'm looking into those and then I found this video and it says this frog is bad at basically everything. And it's a really cute frog. So we're gonna watch that at some point. I'm very excited about it. Yeah. Frog, yeah. Frogs existing makes yeah. me really happy. A frog being bad at existing, I'm ready. I'm super ready. I'm prepared. Um, if I don't see you guys before the holiday, I hope that you guys enjoy your holiday and celebrate it the way that makes you the most happy husband. Thank you so much for joining me. I had a fantastic time. She's with saying you. that because some people might be sad. So if you're gonna be sad, do your sad thing. But if you're not gonna be sad, don't do your sad thing. They know what I mean. That's why I told the other people who didn't know. <laughs> Everybody knows what I mean. Now, because we play fun.
I love you. Thanks for joining me in the video. <laughs> don't I'll forget see you to later, leave... Travis. Fuck <laughs> you. Don't forget to leave your reaction requests and recommendations down in the comments below. And other than that, peace out, Hope Biscuits. It's getting lit. <laughs>